Nakawal pa na actress at vlogger na si Donalyn Bartolome ang isang netizen na kumwestiyon sa pagbili niya ng isang sports car na nagkakahalaga umano ng 8 million hanggang 16 million. Inakusahan si Donalyn ng basher na mas inuna pa raw nito ang paggasto sa mamahaling sports utility vehicle kesa sa pag-aalaga sa kanyang lola. Sa kanyang Instagram page, ibinandera ni Donalyn ang kanyang bonggang latest purchase, isang Maserati Ghibli's SUV. Ito raw ang ikatlo niyang luxury sports car at wala na raw siyang inilabas na cash pa rito. Say na actress at singer, advance birthday gift na rin daw niya ito para sa sarili. She's turning 26 na this coming July 9. Aniya sa caption ng litrato ng bago niyang sports car, I bought a dream room room y'all. Act so beautiful. About a year ago, I wanted to buy a Maserati but it wasn't the right time. It finally happened, an early birthday gift to myself. Last mo na to, ha ha ha. Thank you Maserati Philippines for helping me find the one. Sent them an email regarding vlogging my purchase months ago on the day of my visit. I was greeted with a royal blue bouquet of roses. They're so sweet. I feel so special. I had no choice but to buy. Ha 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 ha. I love it because blue roses symbolize achieving the impossible. Aniya pa. Samantala, sa isa naman niyang vlog, sinabi ni Donalyn na Leica Gems ang ginamit niyang pangbayad sa bagong sasakyan, ngunit wala siyang binanggit kung magkano ito. Sa comment section ng kanyang IG photo, isang netizen ang nagpost ng comment at nagsabi bakit inuna niya pa ang pagbili ng milyong-milyong halagang kotse kesa tulungan ng kanyang lola. Hindi naman ito pinalampas ng vlogger at ang paliwanag hinggil dito. For those confused, two years ago, a reckless YouTuber featured a distant relative, a lola, who I took care of and had my contact number to ask for help when she was struggling, but chose not to let an outsider use my name for attention so that her son talks to her again after her shortcomings. Instead of taking the wrongdoers to court, I forgave both of them with all my heart, though it cost me my reputation and also my mental health for one year. That's not why I'm triggered bro. It's the fact that because of that, and the YouTuber did, her relationship with her son was permanently damaged. I couldn't fix it until her last breath. This was painful to bear. Kaya di ka dapat nakakailam sa problema ng pamilya if you are not part of it. Huwag mong palalain. No to fake news. Be a responsible viewer. Paglilinaw pa ni Donnelly. May warning din siya sa lahat ng mga maninira sa kanya at sa pamilya niya. Anyone who writes anything rebellious about me or any members of my family will regret it. Minsan ko lang unahin ang sarili ko. Gusto ko i-post kasi may tuturo tong magandang asal sa followers ko. I reply to a lot of positive comments more than bad ones, don't worry. I posted my new car that I waited to have for 8 years and also to promote my new vlog kasi nagtatrabaho akong tao. Then this guy starts spreading fake news. Wala pa ako pinabayaan na mahal ko sa buong buhay ko. Gusto ko sanang kasuhan para alam natin as viewers, we also have to be responsible. We have to know if fake news or not. So pag fake news, don't spread it. Be a responsible viewer. Pahayag pa ng actress at social media influencer.